go to the Foglight software download page and download the Foglight management server for your operating system. Notice that you have to be a registered user. You can select to download documentation and then click download now. Once you are done downloading the zip file, extract it and then run the installer. Make sure you have read the install guide and have enough hardware for file management server. Or if you are using an external database that you have prepared the user ID for Foglight. We'll press next, accept the license. In this case we'll choose custom install, not standard install. Give it an installation directory. You definitely want to enable Foglight as a service. In this case, just for the installation, we will not enable it as a service. You can choose admin password and also specify whether you want secure server, HTTPS only. Choose an installation mode, standalone or high availability. And you can now choose a repository. Make sure you have your database ready as well as the user ID and a password for Foglight. Notice that for every database type you actually have help indicating for you what you need for the installation. You do have the ability to continue with the installation and actually create the database manually if you would like to. In this case, since this is a demo installation, we'll just choose the embedded database. For a production installation, you are required to use an external database. You can choose a user ID and a password for the database. The database is being created for us. We now have to choose ports for the management server. Notice the HTTP and HTTPS ports. You can install the license now or after the installation is done. And choose whether to run the server now or later. In this case, we'll just run it now. You can now log into the Fallout Management Server. Notice the navigation panel on the left and the action panel on the right. You can now go to administration cartridges inventory and add monitoring capabilities to Foglight by adding cartridges.